Hello Scorpio and welcome to your reading. Scorpio, I always remind you that these messages are generalized. So take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't because that will resonate with someone else who's watching this reading. If you could remember to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign, when you do that you get a much fuller picture of the energies that you are working with. So it's important to really get all the messages. I also want to remind you to have a look um, at my other channel. I have a love channel. So if you want to see love readings, I'm going to link the channel in the description box below. And for those of you who have been asking me about donations, especially cryptocurrency donations, I have finally made all the different websites for you to come and donate. So I'm going to link that in the description box below. And anyone else who wants to support the channel and to make donations, there's all types of different ways of donating with PayPal and, you know, the usual way. But I was just getting a lot of messages about cryptocurrency donations. So I went and did the work that you wanted me to do. I'm just going to pop these cards to one side. And as I do that, I'm also going to get for you a tarot card to see what this reading is all about. So as I'm doing this, let's see what the divine wants you to know. Okay. And the divine is gifting you the high priestess. I love the energies of the high priestess because this is this is the message for Scorpio. It is all about secrets. It is all about hidden messages. It is all about diving deep into the other world, right? You can see that behind our high priestess, the veil has been, re has been revealed to allow information from the cosmic mind to come and in to come and penetrate to give you important information. Sometimes my guides speak very fast and my mouth cannot catch up. So the divine really wants you to understand that take note of your dreams because in your dreams, you could be receiving important messages, juicy messages, things that you've been praying for. You could just suddenly, like an epiphany, boom, as if from nowhere. You just suddenly know the answer. You know what to do. You know who to speak to. You know where to go. So the divine is really wanting you to understand that there are important messages that are coming through for you. So tap in to your uh, dreams, right? In the dream, in the dream realm, tongue twister you could see that there is a lot of information from your subconscious mind from the divine that is coming in now scorpio we need to speak about a couple of things okay the divine is saying that there is some things here that are blocking your blessings where you are wanting to go and we need to find really ways of dealing with the energies that is here one of this energy that is really prominent is jealousy and so Whatever is happening, whatever is triggering you to feel jealous, whatever is triggering you to feel like you are not enough, that's what truly jealousy is all about when you feel like you're not enough. The divine wants you to know that you are more than enough and to deal with any issues, any feelings that are coming up that are making you feel less than when you are more than. Okay, and not only that, we have also addictions and vices that are here. So again, the divine is just saying, be aware of any addictions and vices. If you're drinking too much, if you're doing anything too much, Scorpio, mm -hmm, the divine is like, look, just be really mindful and just be really aware of the choices that you're making because we have good energies that are here. But these two energies are getting in the way. These two energies are standing in the way of your blessings. And this is for some of you. Okay. So the divine is asking politely for you to deal with any of these energies that are prominent in your life right now, because they are blocking your blessings. They are blocking where you are wanting to go and what you have been praying for. Okay. So for some of you, you are just feeling that right now you are at a crossroad. You're not knowing which way to go, which way to turn, and you're looking for signs. You are communicating and you are praying for the divine to show you the way. Please divine, which way should I go? And remember what the divine told you? Your dreams are going to have some important messages for you. Your dreams are going to give you which way to go, the answers. And also watch out for epiphanies 
epiphanies could be coming in, boom, suddenly, you know the answer, you know what to do, you know which way to go. And so for some of you who are at a crossroad right now, the divine is really wanting to emphasize your dreams. And for some of you, not only are you dreaming, not only are you growing, not only that, the divine is asking to asking you to protect your dreams. So if you have plans that you're wanting to birth out into the real world, if you're finding out that you are pregnant, there is just something that is here. The divine is like, protect your dreams. Don't share your news with the world immediately. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that is exciting you and making you feel alive, don't share that. Take some chances. Luck is on your side. We've got our runes and that's Petro and Petro is all about luck. Luck is on your side, but remember sometimes you just need to be your own cheerleader. You're not sure t telling people about, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then you don't do it. You are not getting too excited and, you know, run away with your ideas and other people are like, mm, are you sure? And now you're doubting, now you're questioning yourself, now you're in some type of way. And so the divine is like, your dreams are really important. And not only are your dreams, also make sure that you're paying attention to the messages that are coming up through your dreams. Again, we saw that we had addiction, vices and choices. And now we have choices and decisions. We saw that for some of you, you're at a crossroad. For some of you, you just could be feeling lost and confused. You've got major important choices that you need to make. So again, tap into the energy of the high priestess. The high priestess is the gatekeeper, the gatekeeper of information coming from the other side, coming from the cosmic mind, coming from the divine mind. So maybe even speaking to the high priestess just before you go to sleep to help you decipher any information that is coming through your dreams. Because you can see if we pay attention to our high priestess, the high priestess is deciphering important information and you are here like a child. Like, I don't understand, what does it mean? And the high priestess is like, child, take a seat, relax. It's not that serious. And the high priestess will start speaking, will start really reeling off all this information. And you're like, ah, oh, now it makes sense. Thank you. So before you go to sleep, always ask the high priestess to give you not only the dreams, but also the ability to interpret the dreams what good is a dream if you don't know what it means, right? Scorpio, there is just, again, something that is here. I don't know what's going on with you, Scorpio. There is something that is just like really triggering you. You're really dark, deep in your feelings right now. And so the divine is like, whatever is going on, the divine can see that, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And so whatever is going on, stay in control, stay calm, remember, the high priestess is able, able to help you. The high priestess is able to assist you, to give you a way out of this situation. Whatever is triggering you, if you're feeling rage, if you're just feeling like, oh, I feel out of control right now, I need a drink. The divine's like, no, you don't. So high priestess, okay? That's where the answer is. It's not at the bottle. It's not in a bottle. It's not at the bottom of the glass. It's none of that. The divine is really wanting to emphasize as you can see in the card of decisions and choices, that third eye, you're going to be working with that. That third eye, perfect to work with a high priestess because when you are working with a high priestess, the high priestess is able to give you information that you never see with your two eyes. The high priestess is able to move the veil and unveil what is behind the knowledge the secret knowledge that just lies on the other side. And like I told you, the high priestess is the gatekeeper. You can see she's at a gate and she's right there. So I think I've emphasized for you there enough. So as everything is going on, you know, as you're making important decisions, the divine is wanting you to understand that right now, this is the perfect time to learn, to grow and to be adaptable. You are not going to find the answers at the bottle, at the bottom of a glass. You're not going to find the answers there. 
but instead you're saying no to vices, you're clearing out all the alcohol out of your home, whatever it is that is right there that helps you numb your feelings, that makes you feel like, ah, oh, you know, I'll do whatever tomorrow. No, the time is now. The time to learn, the time to grow, the time to be adaptable is now because here we're at the dawn of a new era. New chapters are opening, new opportunities are presenting themselves. And if you are stuck in a haze, in a fog because of vices and addictions, the divine is saying that you're gonna miss important opportunities. So again, the answer and the strength is gonna come from working with a high priestess. So let's see what is happening. So the divine is like, look, Scorpio. Yes, there is dark energies here. That's your realm, man. You know how to deal with these energies. I know that you don't need none of this, but sometimes, you know, life just gets a bit messy and a bit heavy and all that. So the divine is like, all the challenges that you're experiencing, they are good because you're gonna use them as a stepping stone. These are lessons. These are all the stuff that you're gonna look back and think, ah, oh, now it makes sense why I experienced X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you are learning, you're growing, you're being adaptable, you're being fluid, you're flowing, you are just ducking and diving, doing your thing. And then the divine is saying, as you're doing that, you are growing up. You are glowing up and you're going to come through to the other side. Okay, remember what I told you about the high priestess. She sits as the gatekeeper with the information and the knowledge that you need. And you go and see her. You can see that it is nighttime. The moon is there. And you go and see her and you say, you know, I don't understand X, Y, Z. Can you help me? The high priestess is like, of course I can. What do you want to know? You ask and an epiphany happens. Something happens. You're able to decipher the dreams. And then you're coming through to the other side of that portal, of that gate. Feeling like, oh, it was worth all the hardships. It was worth everything. So now you've blown up. Now you are just like, yes, it is time for celebration because once you were like a child and now you have grown up and you have grown from the experience and the challenges that you have gone through. So the divine is really wanting you to understand that this is a, a learning curve, okay, that is here. You're glowing up if you remain strong, if you remain adaptable, it is all good. This is just a moment in time and do not make this moment in time turn into a chapter that is going to last a lot longer than it needs to because you are using addictions and vices to numb the feelings and the choices that you have to make. We saw that there's choices and choices that needs to be made and you're not using any other type of behaviors like jealousy or anything else. You are showing up and you're doing what needs to be done because like I said, this is a growing opportunity. Soon you're going to be celebrating all the challenges that were here. And you'll be like, whoa, <laughs> I can't believe it. I made it to the other side. Me, me, Scorpio, I made it through that dark hour of the soul. That challenge, I thought at one point that it was going to kill me. But I kept going. The high priestess helped me out. And now I can jump and touch the sky. I can celebrate and I can't believe that I did it. I've come through to the other side. Now it's time for success. Now it's time to glow. Now it's time to celebrate because the end of a struggle is finished. And now we are here. The struggle is behind you. And now you're here where the light is and it's time to really celebrate. Sunshine is here, daytime has arrived, the nighttime is gone. And so, again, the High Priestess is going to be your friend. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.